So, you've got a small bathroom. It's a little outdated. And you're on a budget? Yeah, I think we've got you covered. You don't have to have a massive budget to have an on-trend home. Showroom Steals is all about breaking down the trends that you would see in a designer showroom, but we show you how you can get the look for less. In our first episode of this season, Yoko did a deep dive into kitchen tricks and trends you need to know as we kick off the new year. If you haven't checked it out yet, do yourself a favor and go do that. In this episode, we're talking bathrooms. More specifically, that small bathroom that needs a 2023 facelift and is screaming, I can add property value. I'm not gonna say we all have that one, but if you clicked on this video, you probably do. I like to think we're in the middle of a golden age of bathroom design. It wasn't long ago that bathrooms were designed solely with functionality and the essentials in mind. A sink, a tub, a toilet, you get it. But a focus on design in your bathroom is a must in my opinion. Understanding trends and where to focus your budget can help you get the most out of your upgrades. Today, we'll break down some ideas you can pick and choose from to make the most of any budget. To start, let's focus on opening up a space. Obviously, you can't just make extra square footage appear out of thin air. So you'll wanna do whatever you can to make the space you do have seem larger. Color is a good place to start. Monochromatic palettes are trending right now and white reflects light well, which can help create a more spacious look. But consider an off-white with subtle cream tones rather than pure white. One more consideration on color is matte black. I know, black can be scary to incorporate into your design, and it's very much the opposite of what I just recommended. With that said, matte black is not only trending in bathrooms right now, it also adds lots of depth to a small space. Whether used on a single wall or the entire room, it'll make the space seem a bit bigger. This next tip will not only help the space feel larger, but also way more high end. Rather than small tiles with lots of grout lines all over your walls and floors, slab looks are trending right now, and for good reason. It's an illusion that makes your space appear larger. This is normally done with large porcelain, marble, or concrete slabs, which look amazing, but can be super expensive. A trick to get the same look for a fraction of the cost is to go for large format tiles and use a grout color that matches the color of the tile. Uniformity is key when it comes to that larger illusion I just mentioned, so don't stop at just your floors with a large format tile. You can use the same tile and grout for your walls as well to maximize the look. I already mentioned monochromatic palettes are in right now, and that works really well with this design technique. Two final tips when it comes to opening the space are glass shower doors and oversized mirrors. Similar to the look of a slab, a single oversized piece of glass for your shower door or partition can elongate the look and make the room seem even larger. And of course, with it being glass, there's nothing to obstruct your view and split the room up. For mirrors, the reflections from oversized options do some heavy lifting to expand the space. Now that you've got some tips and tricks to maximize space, let's focus on other ways to tie in current trends to get the most out of your upgrades. Starting with textures, natural materials and textured finishes are in right now. Again, we're looking for tranquility and coziness, and bringing some elements of nature into your bathroom can really help with that. Wood grain, terrazzo, textured ceramics, and fluted wood details are all great options to tie into your design. Entire fluted wood walls have been trending for a while, but if you don't want to commit to an entire wall, you can incorporate the look in more subtle ways, like on cabinets, vanities, or just a portion of the wall. Without the right lighting, even the most thoughtfully designed spaces can look outdated or underwhelming. The biggest mistake I see often is not having enough lights to disperse throughout the bathroom. Traditionally, bathrooms tend to have an overhead light and a vanity light, but that's not gonna cut it. For starters, if you have a single light above your vanity, replace it with two sconces, one on either side of the vanity. That'll give you more balanced light and it'll look so much better in the mirror. There are so many great options on Lowe's.com, but these tie in nicely with the looks we've been talking about. Other lighting options you should consider are built-in architectural lighting, like LEDs under a floating vanity or storage compartments, or integrated mirror lights like this. These ideas so far should give you a solid start for creating a really high-end and modern bathroom. Of course, there are some things that you may be willing to spend extra on to get the look, Keep in mind, you don't need everything in your bathroom to be high-end to create the aesthetic. All you need is a handful of statement pieces that serve as focal point and elevate the entire room. We've already touched on the glass shower door or partition, and I think that's something worth spending some money on, but here are a few others you should consider. I mentioned oversized mirrors earlier, but extra points if you choose an untraditional shape like a circular or curved mirror. 
In our last episode, Caroline covered how and why you should incorporate arches and curves into your home. And this is a great opportunity to do that. The curved lines soften the space, adding to the cozy feel we're going for. Even the smallest bathroom upgrades can bring a big return and increase your quality of life. Most bathrooms aren't huge, so it can be an easy project to tackle that can make a big difference in your property value and transform your entire space. Let us know in the comments how you plan to transform your bathroom. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out more episodes of Showroom Steals. See you next time.